So today we're going to look at adjectives and adverbs with sensory verbs. And the learning objectives are going to be, well, we got to define what sensory verbs are. And then we're going to learn if sensory verbs should be followed by adjectives or adverbs. This is a common mistake when writing sentences with sensory verbs. And then we'll finish by practicing with a couple of sentences. So let's start off with the following two sentences. If you see the sentences, you look well, or the sentence, I feel well, are those sentences correct? So that's what we're going to try to answer in this episode. Well, let's start with what sensory verbs are. Sensory verbs are related to these senses. Sight, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. And then examples of sensory verbs related to these senses are, for sight it would be see, look, seem, watch. For hearing it would be hear, sound, listen. For taste it'd be taste. For touch it'd be hurt and feel. And for smell it'd be smell. What are some of the common errors with sensory verbs? Well, the mistakes happen when we have to find out or figure out if they should be followed by an adjective or an adverb. Let's look at the following two sentences. If we write Rafi looked angry, and then let's look at another sentence, we can write Rafi looked at him angrily. The question to ask to figure out if we should follow the sensory verb with an adjective or an adverb is, we've got to ask ourselves, is a sensory verb a static verb? Because if it's a status verb, it describes a state, not an action. And in this situation, we'll have to follow the sensory verb with an adjective. The other thing we could ask is, is a sensory verb, well, if it's not static, is it an action dynamic verb? Because in this situation, then the sensory verb will be followed by an adverb. Okay, so let's revisit our example. So when A, Rafi looked angry, well, looked is a state. And it's a state describing the subject Rafi, not the action of the verb. So because of that, we look back to our role on the question to ask, we're going to follow the sensory verb with an adjective because it's describing a state, not an action. In B, Rafi looked at him angrily. Well, looked is an action verb. Okay, It's describing the way Rafi looked at him. So in this situation, we're going to use the adverb. We'll follow the sensory verb looked, and therefore we're going to use angrily as the adverb in sentence B. So let's look at a couple more examples. Let's say I write down the sentence, the guitar sounds, two choices, fantastic, which is the adjective form, or fantastically, which would be the adverb form. So what's the answer here? Well, we take the sensory verb sounds, and we got to decide, is it a static verb or an action dynamic verb? In this situation, it's a static verb. Okay, there's no action here. So therefore, we're going to use the adjective form. So we're going to say the guitar sounds fantastic. Let's look at another sentence. People feel strong or strongly about human rights. Okay, so strong is an adjective and strongly is an adverb. So we've got to figure out which of these two choices is the correct one in this situation. So feel, is that a stative or an action verb in this situation? And in here, we've got that feel is an action verb. And therefore, we're going to follow it with the adverb form strongly. Note, linking verbs like am, is, or are are a subgroup of stative verbs. Linking verbs do not express action. If you can replace the stative verb with a linking verb, and the sentence still sounds logical, then use an adjective after the sensory verb. So let's look at our examples. Uh, I wrote the guitar sounds fantastic. So if I can replace this with a linking verb, so let me see, the guitar is fantastic, sounds pretty good. So it does look like the adjective form was the correct form to use in this sentence. Okay, so how about the second one? Let's try. So people are strongly about human rights. Does that sentence sound good? 
Not really. So in this situation, the linking verb doesn't doesn't really work for us, and the adverb does. So that's why we go with strongly in this situation. So that's a little trick that you can use when you want to figure out if you have the right form. Just try to replace the sensory verb with a linking verb. All right, so let's go back to the two sentences that we wrote at the beginning of the lesson. We wrote down, you look well, and I feel well. And we wanted to know if these sentences were correct. So look is a static verb, and we've said that static verbs must be followed by adjectives. And well is not an adjective, so we've got to replace well with something like good or fine or terrific. So you look, you look fine, you look good. Second one, feel is also a static verb in this situation. And we've got to put with static verbs, we've got to put the adjective after it. So again, we could put good or fine or terrific. I feel terrific. I feel good. So neither of those sentences was correct to begin with. Thanks for listening. We'll see you in the next episode. Student and teacher worksheets available at lingoku.com.